10-3 records to begin the day, finishing with the best record, more important than ever, with only one bye available in each conference. Tom Brady, 0-3 against the Saints in the regular season since joining the Buccaneers. Of course, he got a playoff win. A win Sunday gives Tampa the division title. Dennis Allen, acting Saints coach, Sean Payton, get well soon. COVID protocol. How about this from Taysom Hill to Marquez Callaway, a gain of 33. Callaway had 88 receiving yards in the first quarter. That's a career high in the first quarter of the game. It's 6 0. Early second quarter. Chris Godwin takes a shot from PJ Williams and stays down. His knee buckles awkwardly. He'd walk off on his own, was working on the sidelines. You wondered, could he get back out there? Ultimately ruled out for this game. MRI coming Monday. All right, you got Mike Evans. He makes a big grab here, but then Evans would leave with a hamstring injury. So two spectacular weapons out. And then, meanwhile, this Saints defense, who seems to have some sort of recipe for Brady that others don't, coming up big. Cam Jordan gets the sack. Buccaneers miss a field goal. First time the Bucs have been held scoreless at the half all season. All right, well, we're down Evans, we're down Godwin, we've got Leonard Fournette. He's been spectacular this year. Fournette, as he helicopters here, you see that hamstring. Mm. That bears the brunt of that helicopter hit. He left with a hamstring injury. All right, well, you got Ronald Jones, the second. And he's shown some burst and does so here. A gain of 30. It's third and eight. Buccaneers at the St. 37. Rob Gronkowski makes the grab. Bucks facing another third down. Brady, nowhere to go. Takes off running and then oh, chased down by Jordan. The ball is out. Marshawn Lattimore is there for the recovery. The Saints force the turnover. Last 15 years, Brady's been held scoreless through three quarters twice. The Saints have done it both times. It's still 9-0. David Anyamata with another sack. Then Brady, with under four to go, mm. is picked by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Brady, visibly frustrated, snaps a streak of 255 consecutive starts without being shut out, including the playoffs for Brady. The Saints get the victory, 9-0. Bruce Arians on the injuries tonight. Yeah, I think it was big. You know, obviously the young guys, I was hoping they'd step up a little bit more than the receivers. And um, overall, we just dropped too many balls, too. I mean, when we did have some some guys open, and uh, they did a good job playing. You know, they played that hard man-to-man, -man and, and we did not do a very good job of getting open. Obviously, the timing of all these injuries with three games left here is not ideal. How do you just try to approach the final stretch here with these injuries? Now, whoever's up, got to go play a little better. And it uh, doesn't matter who's who's available, but we got to get we got to get ready and go beat Carolina. Yeah, I mean, we just, yeah, didn't execute great, obviously, and um, just tough night. So I don't think we we're, you know, much good of anything tonight. Just I wish it was just one thing. It was a lot of things. So we got to do better in every every facet of offensive football to, to uh, you know, score points. We're not going to win scoring no points. So for the first time in a career, Brady shut out at home. He'd made 179 home starts prior to Sunday night, which was, of course, the most by any quarterback in NFL history without a single shutout. After passing Drew Brees and several different records the past few seasons, this was one mark that Brees will reclaim. So the Buccaneers couldn't.